Hey everybody, welcome back to season one and house number three of the series, three out of ten. So today we are gonna be working on kind of like a one-story house that actually looks really cool. So let's go over the materials that we will need. We will need bricks, cobblestone, cobblestone walls, stone, glass, fences, iron bars, stone brick stairs. Uh, along the way, we will also need trap doors. Uh, I probably put some. I'm gonna put some of this stuff in my inventory for now. Uh, we will also need trap doors, like I said. We also need pillar quartz blocks. Uh, probably quartz stairs, most likely. Uh, quartz slab. Put these in my inventory as well. Uh, and I think we should be good for now. And one last thing, a stone slab. Okay, so first off, we're going to start on the very left side. And we're going to start with brick. And I would probably make this maybe, uh, like maybe around 10 blocks back away from your street. So we're going to start off with the brick. And we're going to stack it up two. And I'll just stack it up maybe a couple more blocks. Okay, so we're going to take out our cobblestone. And we're going to have it come out two blocks. One, two. Then on the third block, have it come up one more above that. Okay. Now, this is actually going to be a porch that we are going to have. Okay. So, before we even do that, we're going to have this brick come all the way across. And we're going to make a window now. So, the window, this corner piece will be two wide. Okay. The window will be three wide. So, one, two, three. And then stack up with more brick. And then we should have three blocks on this side. Okay. Now, this window, we are going to be using glass blocks for the windows, and all these windows will be two blocks back. You guys actually might know this because of my last videos. I did this a lot. And we're going to stack it up three blocks, I think would be good. Uh, or should we stack it up four? Let's stack it up four for now. We can always go in and change it later. Okay. And then we're just going to have the brick come up and across just like that. Okay. And now we're going to have our fence come here in the middle do 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 and do all right so we're looking pretty good so far right now behind this last piece of brick we're gonna have glass one block back and we're gonna stack it up three blocks Whoop. and two three then have it come across just like that this is going to be our door next uh on the other side of this we're not gonna have more glass next to it we're actually gonna have cobblestone coming up okay and the cobblestone we're actually going to have it come out uh, a little bit farther in front of the brick we have over there or the cobblestone we have over there. Now, we will actually refine the exact number later on. So, might as well do that now. So, we're going to take our cobblestone, right? We're going to have the cobblestone come all the way over and just about stop right here, okay? So, what this is, this is our going to be our front porch and we're going to take out... Some iron bars and the iron bars will be like our railing for the house so we should have something that looks kind of just like this so far nice and simple not too bad and now we're going to fill the rest of this in with stone so the main porch will be just using stone and even have it come all the way back to the door here okay and we're gonna have it even with uh the cobblestone here and then we're gonna have stairs that come down just like that so those are the stairs for the house, okay? And we actually, let's move this over one more block. So we'll move this one to here. So we need one more iron bar. And there we go, I think that's actually a little bit better. So we should have three blocks total here. And so the cobblestone is actually perfect. We should have the cobblestone one block in front of everything here. Now we're gonna have this come over. Now the second floor starts or the first floor, I should say, base starts one block up. And we're going to have this block, or this window, be up two. Now, what we're going to do is the corners will be two wide, and the window itself will be five. So, one, two, three, four, five. Again, this window is one block back from the actual building itself. And we're going to stack it up three blocks, just like that. So, we actually might come back over here and make this one into three. So, just to match with everything else. So... We'll make this just three blocks tall for now. If we ever need to change it, we can always come back and change it later. But I think we're fine for now. Now, I want you to take out your fence. The fence will go on the second window on both sides. So closest to the edges, just like that. Nice and simple, right? Not too bad. 
All right, let me take out some swiftness. There we go. Now this side will also be too wide as well. So we're gonna come across with our stone, our cobblestone, and voila. So we should be looking somewhere along these lines so far. It doesn't look like much yet, but once we add the roof and stuff like that later on, it will look a little bit better. Also, when we add some front yard design, uh, we're gonna take the trap doors and the trap doors will go on the block closest to uh, the window. And these kind of act as like shutters. And we can do this with all these windows over here as well. So just like this. And voila, as you can tell, that small detail makes actually a big difference. And we're gonna do a stair step design with this window here. And it should come to a perfect point to one. So just like that. And let's see, is there anything else that we should probably do with this? Uh, let's come over to the front porch and we're gonna put two cobblestone walls on these two pieces of cobblestone here. So one, two, okay. Looks pretty good. And you'll see later on, we're actually gonna add uh, should we do that now, maybe? Uh, we'll wait. We'll wait to do that. Okay, but now we're going to come over to the right side of the window we just made. And we're going to come back with one layer of cobblestone, right? Actually, we're going to make this come back three blocks. Now, so we're going to stack this up as a solid wall. Now, this third block, we're actually going to have it turn back uh, two blocks on both sides, just like this. And this one's only going to come up one block, okay? Now using your brick, we're gonna stack up maybe five, one, two, three, four, five. And do this on both blocks. Now the garage door, we are going to be using pillar quartz blocks, okay? And the garage door will be five blocks wide. So one, two, three, four, five. And let's stack this up about uh, four. I think will be good for now, maybe even five. <clears throat> All right, let's add uh, let's make it a little bit taller. Maybe that. Do you think that's good? Maybe one block. So we want to have something like this, right? So I think this actually looks pretty good for a garage. And then just do the same thing on this side as well with our brick coming up and over. And then connect the brick together with the brick coming across the top, just like that. And what we're going to do now, we're going to take our brick stairs for the garage, which brick stairs are here. They are. So the brick stairs will go here on the corners to kind of give it a better finished design. And then to even finish it off even more, take out a brick slab, which they are right here. Okay. What Jax? <laughs> My cat just like woke up and started meowing at me. Uh, so anyways, we're gonna do a, another stair step design here with our garage is to have it come up and th Again, this one should come to a perfect point just like the last one So we're looking pretty good. I think So this is what our house is kind of looking like as you can tell this is how long it's gonna be It's not gonna be a very long house So what we're gonna do we're going to take out our stone brick stairs and our court stairs along with quartz slabs. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the stone brick stairs and just stack them up here. It's like what we've been doing with everything else. Okay. Now, I'm trying to think, should we add a overhang? Cause I think like we should have, hmm. I'm trying to think like how we should do this. I'm gonna get rid of all this real quick and I actually have a different theory about how we're gonna approach this. We're gonna approach it a little bit differently. So we're gonna start it right here, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a quartz slab start right about here on the top part of this block. Okay. And then we're gonna have the stone brick stair start on top of that. And that's how we're gonna start off this roof. So it's not too tall because we really don't want anything to be too tall in this house because if it gets too tall, it wouldn't look right for how small the house is. And something is off. Oh. Uh, this is what's off. This needs to go on top of here. Something, it's really, blah, 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 I can't talk. It depends on how small something like that can really make a difference. And again, perfect point. And just take your stone brick stairs and just add everything here. Okay. Now your quartz stairs will be your overhang stair. So we're gonna have the stairs come up. When you get to this middle block here, you're gonna have a upside down stair. 
with a slab on top of it, and then just continue your way back down. So we should be looking something like this with upside down stairs, of course, underneath the stairs facing up. And how are we looking so far? I think that looks pretty good. I like the design of it. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing here. So we want the slab on this one to start maybe just right above the slab here. So like right about here is where we want this one to start. So we actually have it perfectly already. Let's have this come up and then have it come back down. Now, what we can do for this one is we can have this one stop here and we actually need to have the slab come, oh my goodness, come underneath the stairs over here as well. Otherwise it looks kind of weird. So it should look something like this. Now for this one, we can just have the stone brick to stop there. I think that'll be fine. And then these two connect together. But now we need to add our quartz overhang for this set of stairs. Again, upside down, then quartz there on top or quartz slab on top of that. Really simple. Okay. And then we're going to take out our stairs again and just add upside downs. Just like this. And perfect. And the house the house is really coming together now. We're starting to see everything take shape and it's really looking a lot better. Uh, so we need to figure out how we want to do the stairs for this because I feel like the court should be maybe out like right here. Maybe you come out that far, right? I feel like that'd be pretty decent. Like we had to do something like that. Uh, and how do we want to do that? I think maybe we have the stone brick stairs on top of that, right? And then we have this turn and come back one block back, right? Uh, so something just like this maybe and, Ooh, and then maybe what if like right behind this then we have This come up. So like let's put cobblestone here for now And then we're actually gonna fill two blocks back for this and you'll see why I just came up with an idea We're gonna put the stone brick here Here and then right behind all of this we're gonna have stair steps coming up, right? So let's have the stair steps come up and might as well just add our cobblestone here for the stair step for now. This cobblestone will only be temporary until we actually get everything taken care of. So stone brick, stone brick, boom, boom. And everything should come to a perfect point like it is so far. All right, looking pretty good. Now let's get rid of the cobblestone we placed. Now you'll see why here in a second, because, uh, actually I think I just messed that up. I think we need to have yeah, I think I did mess that up. We need to have quartz stairs. Sorry guys, I did not mean to do that to you guys at all. So basically all we have to do is just, we could just move all these one block back. So I'm just gonna do this to make things a little bit easier and faster. Okay, now we want quartz stairs, that's what we want. Okay, I think I got it now. Boop, and boop. Simple fix, and quartz stairs now. Do, do. Do and do. Now let's add our upside down stairs in here with the mix. Okay. All right, I think that we're looking pretty good so far, I think. And now right behind this, what if we added pillar quartz blocks, like sideways pillar quartz blocks in here, which we need them to be sideways. So we need to have a block, these blocks coming down like this. Yeah, but what if we had sideways pillar quartz blocks in here? to kind of finish off this design a little bit. And so we should look something like this. I mean, how's that look? I think that really does make a difference. Like it's not a huge difference, but it is a big enough difference where it makes a difference, if that makes any sense. I said a lot of differences there, but what if we had the quartz even come over and uh, have the outline be the quartz just like this? I mean, there, that is a lot of white in one area, but there's not really too much we can really do about that. I mean, unless we would want to get rid of the quartz, but then you're kind of jeopardizing certain design features if you do that. So I think that should be fine. So I think we're good there. Uh, what else should we do now? Maybe we connect these two roofs together now. So just like this and we just keep coming back and connecting these two roofs together. 
and how much time are we at? We are at 15 minutes. So in 15 minutes, we've gotten actually quite a bit done for this house. You've gotten what? The almost the entire front done and already moving on to the sides. Because usually by the end of the first part, we're just getting done with the front and we stop there. But this one, we've, we kind of just got it done, but we still have five minutes left. Okay, so we're good there. Let's connect all of this roof together. I And usually we kind of do this stuff like towards the end, like the roof. But I'm kind of doing it now just because we can and why not, right? I mean, we could get work on the sides, but I like to do the roof sometimes a little bit early. Because once the roof is put in, you can actually start to see the house taking shape. Because sometimes it's like you can't imagine it. And sometimes it's hard for people to imagine it. Which isn't a huge thing. I mean, it is hard to see what a house is going to look like before it's done. And stone brick slabs here. Just come back and connect it. Same thing with this one. And do 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 do. Perfect. And pull it. All right, so we got that done. And now you can kind of see everything taking its shape perfectly. Uh, so what if we took... Uh, what do we want to use for this? What if we took like sand maybe and we put like a piece of sand here, right? And then we get the sand. This is, what is this? This is soul sand. Whoops. It looks like sand. Uh, sand. Here we go. And then we put one there, come diagonal. And then we have it come all the way over and stop and come diagonal here. And then even with the garage. Like maybe, how does that look? And then what we can do is we're not just going to leave it like that. We're actually gonna add grass in here. Oh, just like this. And then what I was kind of thinking was what if we took some bushes out, like oak leaves, and we put them like right here. So like boom, 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 boom. Uh, and I think that's good. We could probably do another like right there. And how's that make it look? I think that makes it look pretty good. And what if we added like roses in between? It's like something like this. All right, I think we're actually onto something here. Well, let's take out some pressure plates, some wooden pressure plates, which are here. And we're just gonna put them like this, to kind of give it a little bit more design. I've seen this design used quite a bit. And okay, I think that actually, that actually looks a lot better now. So hopefully now you guys can see the house taking shape now after all we've done. Uh, tripwire hook. Let's put the tripwire hook there at the bottom. And okay, so we're probably gonna call it quits for this part because we've gotten a lot done in this part already. And next part, hopefully we can actually finish up the outside of the house and get started on the interior. So thank you very much for watching guys. Please rate and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And part two will be coming out very soon of this house. So bye-bye.